I really didn't have, you know, I hadn't really spent much time here. Um, but yeah, I think it was a great decision for love and for all the creative, cool stuff that I feel like we've gotten to do here. So I love Omaha. I love living here. Um, but if you had asked me before I moved here, like, if I, that's what would happen, like, to end up, I would be like, fuck no. I'm from Georgia, so when I was living in Athens, Georgia, it was kind of this deal where, like, whenever I had a show, we'd have, like, different people come jam and do, like, like, just kind of sit in and had like a million different people in the band um, and then after moving here I started doing shows just by myself and um, then slowly kind of um, turned into a band. The name of the album of our new album A Perennial Approach to Free Time is kind of a play on a New York Times article that was like a tourist article that was written about Omaha <laughs> and the guy <laughs> The reporter came to town and um, they came to like one of our shows, but they didn't see us play. Um, but the stuff that they wrote about, we just kind of thought was really funny. Just like really funny little details, like being able to buy Gardettos at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and just like, I don't know, just kind of silly. But also I think it, to me, it was like kind of the name of that, the record is kind of just like a homage to the fact that it's been such a like rotating group of people and that and like how that has kind of like shaped the music. I feel like a lot of the lyrics I write are like very like circular like they don't really like it's not like narrative it doesn't really like go anywhere it's just kind of like trying to describe a particular like moment or like a particular like way I felt for like 10 minutes or something you know. Um, so I think a lot of the lyrics are probably like pretty like impenetrable for I mean, maybe not. I think that that's also what I like about like this, like writing songs that like where everyone can kind of like have like um, a different, I don't know, like writing words that you that kind of feel like a little bit more like universal. Everyone, someone can read into it, know like what they maybe want to read into it. But there's not really, um, yeah, there's not like too too many like extremely personal things. I feel like I like like to I sit down and I like, write a song and in the moment. And like all the lyrics are just like all, almost always just written in one go. And I feel like it kind of is more of just like a gestural kind of thing for me. I think my favorite song is probably Nothing Remains. Just like the recording of that song I think is really good. And just like, it's like a really like, it's like what we sound like playing it. The future of the band is kind of in flux. Um, I, th I would like to like continue to like tour on these songs we have, but also like we've been playing these songs for like two years, basically, and um, I think we've been like working on some new stuff that I really dig, but it's maybe in like a kind of slightly different direction. So I think like recording, getting back and like recording and kind of making music together that way um, is probably what we'll be doing this summer and just kind of hold up and write some new songs and put them out. I hope that the record, um, I hope people just kind of like can dig into it. I think it's like a really, one thing I'm really proud of is the kind of like consistency of like, I think like the sound throughout. And it like even every song like kind of puts you in like a similar world or like you just kind of like feel like it's in a similar world. So I hope that people kind of dip into it like, like that, like that maybe all the songs can kind of like live in this kind of similar like weird wiggly zone.